So this comes with Windows 10 Home. What the, like, come on. Let's get rid of that Windows Home. Let's get some Windows Pro. Copy and paste my code from the description. You can also get Office 2019. Just paste my code, woof. It's Windows Pro time. Now, I've been asked so many questions from my last video about the XPS 15. I'm gonna answer a few of these questions. In this video, I'm gonna tell you what mistakes not to make when you buy this XPS 15. Now, if you're new around here, come on, sub up, join the wood train, hit that bell, ding -a ling dong If you're really interested in this XPS 15, no one's gonna cover it like me, like no one. So you wanna sub up, follow me on Twitter. I'll do all the updates once I get it. I'll tell you which model I've ordered at the end. Talk about Australian prices too, they're crazy. Also in the description is my recommended SSD and RAM if you wanted to buy one of these and upgrade it yourself. And they will work in this laptop. So anyway, let's crack on. What are the mistakes you should not make when you buy this XPS 15? First mistake is just buying it because it's new. Or if you have the 9570 and you wanna upgrade. It's not going to be a big performance jump compared to the last one unless you get the i9. Considering the thermal constraints, it will not be that much faster. It's a 130 watt package. In actual fact, the last XPS 15 and 9570, if I could have got the GTX 1050 with a 4K display, I would have got that over the 1050 Ti just because you weren't getting the benefit out of the 1050 Ti because of the thermal envelope. So don't just buy this one because it's new and you think it's gonna be that much faster, it's not. And you don't want an OLED display. Get the last model XPS 15. You'll pick it up on a deal. It'll be super cheap. The performance difference will be very minimal. And the last XPS 15 still has a cracking 4K display, although the Full HD has been improved with this model. So if you're not gonna get OLED and you're just gonna get an i7, consider the last model. But if you just want the newest, yeah, go ahead, get the newest one, but just consider it. Second port of call here is, don't order the wrong laptop. Someone actually ordered an XPS 15 2-in-1, got it by mistake. So when you order, make sure you click on the new XPS 15 and it should say 7590 on the page there. So make sure it's, <laughs> they look the same. So even the XPS 15 2-in-1 looks so similar. So yeah, don't order the wrong one. Do not buy the i5 model. It is tempting to get in at that cheaper price point, but the i5 only has four cores compared to the six cores in the i7 and the eight cores in the i9. So make sure you do not get the i5. Also, make sure you get the one with the big battery, the 97 watt hour battery. They change the configurations all the time. So make sure you just keep an eye on that. One of the cheaper ones might just have the small batteries. So don't make that mistake. Now, when it comes to displays, make sure you order the right display. If you want a touch display, you need the 4K Ultra HD that says touch on it. This is the 500 nit Adobe RGB display. If you order the 4K OLED version, there's no touch. And if you order the full HD version, there is no touch either. So that's definitely one you want to get right. Also, when it comes to displays, if you want the best battery life, you get the full HD version out of the two 4K displays the OLED and the LED version, the touch version, the LED touch version has better battery life. So if you need that battery life, make sure you get the 100% Adobe RGB touched if you want the battery life when it comes to 4K. Do not order the Windows 10 Pro option. Go in the description. I have a discount code for you for Windows 10 Pro. You can buy that, punch in the code and use it on this XPS 15. And it will cost a fraction of a price of the upgrade from Dell's website. If you're a gamer and gaming is what you're going to do, do not buy this laptop. There are gaming laptops that are better at gaming than this. This can game like a champ. Don't worry about that. You'll be playing 60 frames per second, you know, medium high settings, just like the last XPS 15. And I'm very happy with the gaming performance on the XPS 15, but it does not compare to the gaming laptops. So get an Alienware, get a Scar 3, Zephyrus, Aero 15, something like that. If gaming is your number one priority, do not buy this. And when it comes to the i9, do not buy the i9 unless you have a use case for it unless you're doing lots of multi-threaded stuff 
Even video editing, a lot of that stuff is hardware encoded these days, so eight cores won't make that much difference. You really need the use case to get the most advantage out of the eight core i9. Otherwise, you're better off with the i7. Definitely do not get the i9 and think you're going to game faster because you won't. If you have a use case for it, for sure, get the i9. Those extra two cores will make a difference. It can make anywhere from no difference to 17 to 14% is usually where it sits. But if you do have multi-thread workload, it can be over 20% difference. For me, what I do, video editing, hardware encoding out, it really doesn't make no difference with the extra two cores. I just buy it because I want it. So anyway, which one did I buy? Well... This is the one in Australia. Have a look at the price. I'm just going to leave that with you there. Have a look at the US price of a MacBook Pro, that same MacBook Pro in Australia. That's what it costs in Australian dollars on the right. On the left, you have XPS 15. And then on the right, you have in Australian dollars what that exact same model costs. I don't understand. It's like we're paying $1,000 more in Australia. Dell can charge whatever they want. But the thing is, a lot of people say Apple are ripping you off for the price you pay, but they rip off everyone equally, right? So the Americans get ripped off, the Australians get ripped off, everybody gets ripped off. When it comes to the XPS, it seems like Australians are second-class citizens, and this is probably true for other regions as well, getting charged like over $1,000 more. It just doesn't sit well with me. When I know if I was in America, I'd get it like, you know, 700 US cheaper. So anyway, the model I ordered was not this i9. Not because I was balking at the price, that doesn't matter. I know how the i9 performs, I just told you how much difference there is with the i9. But the i9 in Australia doesn't come with the OLED. And I think most people want to see the OLED. So the only option I had, other than waiting for an OLED i9 version to come, and that could be waiting a really long time, the only option I really had is to actually get the i7 with the OLED, the 4K OLED. So... That's the way I ordered. If they had the OLED with the i9, I definitely would have got that, but they don't. Unfortunately, in the US, you can get it like that, that configuration. I don't know why it's like this in Australia. Let me know which one you ordered. Uh, catch you in the next one, guys. I hope this video helped you out. And ciao. Yeah, see ya.